Calvin Calford at 6'4 will jump. And he will be jumping from Memphis State, Ernest Smith at 6'5. Calford gets the tap, Jennings controls, and the Buccaneers have the ball first. Watch Darrell Jones and Todd Munt. Darrell Jones may get more playing time than he's used to simply for that fact. Talford for three. Yes. <laughs> and East Tennessee leads three nothing. I tell you, that was sweet. It hurt nothing but net. We hear Joe Dean say a lot about string music. That was beautiful net sound. East Tennessee's in a man-to-man -man as they start things up. Talford is against Ernest Smith. Good Trying defense. to go down low. Marty Story tapped it away, and it's touched last by East Tennessee. Both teams will be very strongly committed to intense man-to-man -man pressure, and uh, Memphis State really likes to pressure the ball full court. Major Gear is guarding Elliott Perry. Down low, they go to Ernest Smith. Missed it. Douglas is there in front. Missed it. Smith again for the tip. And that could hurt East Tennessee, the fact that they are giving so much size up underneath. Uh, that was too many offensive tips, and uh, anytime you get that many tips and you keep pounding around like that, you're going to probably get them to fall off the glass. Jennings against Madlock. Right side, major gear. They go down low. Gear almost lost it. Jennings faking. Nice pass. Beautiful pass to Darrell Jones, and now Jennings is only 14 assists away from Sherman Douglas' record. You saw Memphis State really gambling that time on defense, and two times uh, they were eluded by the offensive players. The penetration by Mr. Jennings got the assist. East Tennessee, the 16th ranked team of the country into tonight's game. Todd Munt penetrates. Back outside to Elliott Perry. Good job defensively now by the Buccaneers. Anytime you pick up a dribble like Munt just did, the other four players, if they'll seal off their men, uh, creates a lot of problems. Calford against Smith, too hard. Oh. Again, Douglas missed the follow. He's got his first two points. Ernest Smith has the other two. They get it in quickly to Mr. Jennings. It's a 5-4 ball game. Douglas, real strong rebounder. He had 13 against Florida State. He really pounds. Not going to score much, but he will get on the glass. Somebody from East Tennessee State just needs to put a body on him. Just check him. A whistle, a holding foul against Tony Matlock. That's his first foul, and the first team foul on Memphis State. It comes at the 1743 mark of the first half. We're going to see good penetration by Mr. Jennings, and any time you can get by a man like right there, he's going to have uh, problems uh, defensively. And you saw the foul by Tony Matlock. He was fouling with his left knee. Rodney English is in the ball game to inbound as Marty Story will sit down and almost threw that one away. Elliot Perry tapped it out last. You know, Elliot Perry gets a lot of uh, comments about his scoring ability, but he is also a very a very good defensive player. Really puts pressure on the ball. He only needs four steals to break, on, break Andre Turner's uh, school record. Keith Jennings has a shot at a four-point play. He banged a three-pointer, which gives the Bucks an 8-4 lead, and he'll be at the free throw line. Is that foul on Madlock? We'll have to check. If that foul is on Madlock, we'll see right here. That's a pretty good pass to Mr. Jennings, and he can stroke the thing. Look at him. Let's see. That's yep. not a very good. That's Madlock. That's his second foul in less than uh, 10 seconds. And that is critical in a game where you're playing one of the premier, if not the premier, point guard in America in Mr. Jennings. The foul was after the shot. Oh, boy. So this could be a six-point play. <laughs> Potentially, yes. Potentially. They go back to Keith Jennings. Bucks by four, eight four early. Nice pass. Beautiful wow. Keith Jennings into Darrell Jones and Gear followed, but first there was a foul, I believe. Well, there was something. We're we'll have to check and see with the officials over at the scores table discussing. I'm not really sure exactly what. Oh, no foul. Inadvertent whistle. Well, if that's an inadvertent whistle, that cost the Buccaneers a bucket. Because they had the offensive rebound and major gear uh, on the offensive boards. Nevertheless, Rodney English will inbound to major gear. Jennings open again. Yes. A oh, two-pointer. Oh, Randy Hill's a sweet player, and he's finally getting the publicity that he deserves. We said it early in the season. He's the most underrated point guard in America, but people are finding out about him now. 
Elliott Perry, too strong. Calvin Talford in the Raptors for the rebound. Here come the Bucks. Jennings to gear for three to Wiss. And the Bucks are blowing Memphis State out early, 13 to four. And the people in Memphis are finding out about those Johnson City great athletes that can shoot that basketball, especially in transition. 16.54 to go. It's a nine-point Buccaneer lead. And Memphis State is not necessarily the kind of team that can come back from a big deficit because they don't shoot it that well. Shot by Munt, no good. Loose ball taken away by Rodney English. Tell you, Randy, that was great defense by Darrell Jones on that shot by Munt. English, nice soft carry-up shot. Won't go. Rebound taken away by Douglas. Madlock has it. Good pass. To Perry got the layup. Hey, Randy, that's exactly what Larry Finch wants to get done. They're going to play good defense on one end and try to initiate the transition because they'll score a lot in transition. Keith Jennings against Madlock. Keep in mind, Madlock has two fouls already. Inside the feed, Darrell Jones rejected beautifully by Munt. East Tennessee along the baseline, Ernest Smith back to Perry. Perry drives, blocked for the foul against East Tennessee, and it will be either on Darrell Jones or Marty Story. I believe that might be Marty Story. That was a pretty good uh, job of help. You're going to see right now, Elliot, Elliot, Elliot Perry takes it right to the hole, and he gets a lot of uh, defensive pressure there because two players come at him to shut, a, shut off the baseline, but uh, I'm not sure if that Darrell was. Jones. Darrell Jones created a foul. 13-6, Perry at the line with two shots, 15-48 to go. Perry, a good foul shooter, 81% from the line for the Tigers. Gets quiet in here when he goes to the line, makes the first. Perry second only to Keith Lee in scoring career-wise. You're going to see the block right here. Munt just goes straight up. Darrell Jones finds out six, at 6'8 six, that that's a seven-footer. he got long arms. 13-7, Perry with another free throw. Rip, he got it. 15-48 to go in the first half. The Buccaneers lead by five. They will have the ball, but first, these messages. We'll be right back. Back when I was a boy, Mom made a country fried steak that was so 